Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Cinema HD app to your Fire Stick in 2025. If you don't know what a Cinema HD is, it's an app which allows you to watch the newest movies and TV shows on your Fire Stick device. And all that is totally for free. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to download Cinema HD to your Amazon Fire Stick device. And as usual, the very first step you gotta take is of course get the app called Downloader to your Fire Stick. If you already have the loader and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip this step. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then just follow me. You just have to go to your home screen, then select that button with a tiny magnifying glass icon, and at the bottom will appear the search bar for you. So you open the search bar and here you'll get access to this virtual keyboard. We are using the keyboard to start typing downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. Just click on it. And now that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's obviously not ready to use yet because we'll still have to set it up. So the next thing we gotta do to set up the downloader is go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then you scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it and in here you get access to developer options on your device, usually, but not always. On some Fire Sticks and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you are unable to locate the developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because now we are going to make them appear for you. You just have to go to about, select Fire TV Stick, and now you gotta start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, because I had those options enabled in the past. But in your case, it will say that you have become a developer now. It means that if you go back, you will finally see developer options. Let's open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then you have to go to install unknown apps, and in here, all you gotta do is locate downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet. And not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. So now we go back to the list of apps on your device. Here it is. Let me open it. Wait a moment for it to load. And now there's the downloader which is set up and ready to use on the Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN app, all you have to do is locate and connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to the Netherlands right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is gonna be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of this video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. 
And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we'll go back to the list of apps near device, locate Downloader and open it up. So we open it and here we'll be using the search bar to start entering a code, which will allow you to download a Cinema HD to your Fire Stick. So you open the search bar and now the code you have to enter is gonna be 59745. So once again, it's 59745. Make sure to enter the code exactly as you see and obviously without making any mistakes. Then click on go and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you will get even more content about fire sticks and here we go now the load of the app has started just wait until it gets loaded and then obviously we still also have to install the app so click install and make sure that the app gets properly installed to your fire stick device and after the installation is finished do not click on open yet instead press on done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And then when you return back to the list of apps on the Fire TV Stick, here at the bottom, you will finally be able to locate the Cinema HD app. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines right next to the home button on your remote. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use the link below this video to get three months of NordVPN for free. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.